how's it going my people how you doing it's antonio like and subscribe follow me on instagram below um this is the review of elimination chamber uh 2022 which has happened yesterday so on the 20th the 20th of february so i'm reviewing it on then reviewing it today so here we go so it starts off <laughs> it's a seems to be a theme here uh, it starts off with roman reigns versus goldberg um which is a highly anticipated match this was actually meant to be a wrestlemania match a couple of years ago but it didn't happen um i say it's a very physical physical match roman and uh obviously reigns going back and forth see who's seeing who's stronger uh, but roman reigns cuts goldberg off with like punches to the head instead of sort of using muscle um within the match goldberg does hit some spears goes for the jackhammer um but roman basically counters with his new choke out guillotine move and he chokes out goldberg <laughs> so that's that goldberg is awesome though um i know goldberg said in an interview if he doesn't win the title then he has no need to resign i, I know he said also he needs to get knee surgery he's got a few surgeries coming up so he's probably gonna, you probably won't see goldberg for a while now he probably get some surgeries and that was his last match on his on his contract so pff, if he comes back, he comes back. If not, we'll probably see him in AEW. I know AEW won him really badly. Then we had the women's elimination chamber. So we started off with Nikki. So the so obviously in the match, if you don't know who's in the match, it's uh, Nikki, ASH, Dewdrop, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Alex Bliss, who just joined there at the end of Raw, and Bianca Belair, who won the Gauntlet match to come into the elimination chamber last. So in order of elimination, it was Nikki, Dewdrop, Morgan, Ripley, and then it was Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair in the end, and Bianca Belair won. So Bianca Belair is awesome. I think she's doing brilliantly awesome. So she's back-to-back. -back. She's going to be at WrestleMania back-to-back. -back. That's a massive feat. So she's going to face Becky Lynch. Um, Becky Lynch hasn't lost a match, so I don't know if, I don't know if Bianca's going to win that, if I'm honest, honest but... Because Becky Lynch, Lynch doesn't see, doesn't look like she's slowing down at all. So, but see what happens. Um, then it was a tag team match: uh, Naomi and Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte and Sonya, which was a average match, decent match. Ronda was doing, she was in her gi, and obviously this is in Saudi Arabia, so women are not allowed to show their arms or their legs. So every woman on the card was fully clothed, head to toe, just to show respect for the religious beliefs in that country. Um, in the end, so. Uh, Ronda was wearing like a t-shirt and her gi, blue gi, and she won by armbar in the end on Sonya Deville. Then we had Drew versus Madcap Moss in a hardcore match. Uh, Drew basically kicked the living hell out of Madcap Moss and he won. <laughs> there was a lot of hardcore stuff going on as well, wasn't it? That? The fighting in the crowd, fighting outside the ring, weapons were being used, but Drew won in the end. Um, good match, obviously Drew was going to win anyway. Um, then you had Lita versus Becky, solid women's match. Um, very good match for Lita to come back to. She looked really good in the ring. Um, she did nearly win it. She hit the twist of fate and the, and the swan ton, but Becky kicked out. And then Becky hit her with a manhandle slam. Is it? I think that's what it's called. It. Manhandler slam. A slam that she does. She won anyway. Becky, Becky won the match anyway. Then, then you had the Viking Raiders and that's the Usos. They were meant to have a match, but it didn't happen. The Uso just beat down the Viking Raiders, and that was it. <laughs> that was the match. That's all, folks. There was no match. So that was that. I'm not sure if there was a shortened time or not, but yeah. Then you, you did have Ray versus uh, The Miz, but I'm not sure who won that, I'll be honest. I don't know. I didn't get to see that much. Um, I think Miz, I think Ray won that. If someone can let me know who won that, I didn't get to see that much. Then we had the main event, which was the Men's Elimination Chamber. So if you're not familiar, the people in the match which was was subject to change it's like when you see subject to change this happened live on air subject to change so it was obviously bobby going in there as a wwe champion versus aj styles versus seth versus riddle versus brock versus uh austin theory so the match starts and then austin theory gets i believe he got buckle bombed into bobby lashley by seth which broke the sort of the seal and then it hit Bobby. I think Bobby hit his head and I don't know if he was concussed, but he got taken out on a stretcher. Well, not on a stretcher, but he got carried out by the physicians and the medics. And I'm just telling you straight, we did not see Bobby again for the rest of the night. So effectively, he has then been ejected from the match 
and he has lost his title basically so then in order of elimination as i did earlier it was styles went out this is what i believe happened um i believe it was styles went out first then it was seth then it was riddle i might have got that in the wrong order but i know they went out quite quickly amongst each other then it was the last two in it was Austin Fury versus Brock Lesnar. Austin Fury did hit some good moves on Brock, low blow, etc. Um, I see they're trying to do things with Austin Fury because um, usually Brock Lesnar would just flatten people, but he actually put up a little bit of a struggle. And then obviously Brock won by the F5, one, two, three. Brock is now a 10 time world champion and Bobby Lashley wasn't in the match to defend his title, which was a bit weird. I don't know what, it, this could be many things. It's probably done that to keep um, Bobby strong so he's not sort of looking weak. Um, <clears throat> now it obviously sets up Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar title versus title. So I believe that's winner take all. Um, someone, someone's gonna have two titles at the end of the whole show. Um, but it does, it sort of just look, it keeps Bobby looking strong, but it makes him look a little bit weak that he got sort of, someone flew into him, then he got knocked out. So it's like, if it was Brock Lesnar, that probably wouldn't happen. You probably wouldn't see Brock Lesnar get carted out in an injury, but it is what it is. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, one of my friends told me it's going to be Bobby Lashley versus Austin Fury at WrestleMania. I'm not sure if I want to see that. I'd probably see I'd rather see Bobby Lashley versus Big E in a match. That's what I would like to see at Mania. But that's it for me, folks. Um, like I said, that was Elimination Chamber reviewed in six minutes. Um, like and subscribe if you don't get to watch it. You don't have time. You can always watch it here. You can rely on me to come with the results. Okay, so I'm Antonio. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram below. Take care.